everyone to FHC Radio. You're with uh, Eddie Sell, your host here, and Chef Don is back from the fire line in San Diego County. Uh, welcome back, Chef. We're glad that you are uh, safe and sound. Welcome to be here, Chef. And it was actually almost kind of close. You almost uh, were caught at another fire that's uh, burning down there today, correct? Yeah, we had one start today, and uh, I started that wave, and then they, they picked it up. Okay. And once again, you're listening to FHC Radio on the Rant Radio Network. Our phone number is 855-969-7268, 855-969-RANT. And uh, go ahead and give us a call today if you have any uh, questions um, about the culinary world, fire service community, lifestyle, uh, personal training, any of those sort of things that we have covered in the uh, prior four episodes we're going to continue to keep that uh, theme going, and uh, tonight's going to be no different. We're actually going to be joined by a guest that is uh, involved with the uh, food truck industry here in Los Angeles, and uh, Los Angeles happens to be kind of the epicenter and um, has really kind of paved the way for food trucks throughout North America that have become so popular. So we're going to be joined by Josh Hiller Esquire <laughs> of, uh, of Road Stoves. Uh, and Josh, once he's on a little bit later in the show, we'll discuss all about his background and also the company Road Stoves. So uh, we're happy that you're joining us here on our uh, fifth episode. Once again, you can watch FHC Radio. You can watch us and listen to us every Wednesday, 8 to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the Rant Radio Network, also uh, at firehousechefs.com. Um, and bear with us. We are kind of working through some of the technical stuff on uh, getting our uh, our show archived. And um, <laughs> we were talking that with uh, the gentleman over here at the uh, studio tonight about some of that stuff. You can go to YouTube and find some of our prior um, shows if you just search Firehouse Chefs Radio and or uh, Rant Radio Network, FHC Radio. But I kind of notice when you try to do it, you you end up going to something in Egypt or somewhere. So <laughs> we're trying to kind of narrow down the search. So we are working on that. Um, so tonight's topic, we are going to be talking about uh, food trucks and uh, just kind of that uh, the whole revolution of the uh, the mobile uh, food industry, if, if you will. And not only that, but uh, the versatility of, of food trucks. And I think a lot of people out there are going to be really surprised when they find out what you can actually do with the food truck and it's so much more than going to the corner of uh you know first and a there's also catering there's also the special events and a lot of the uh, corporate world is even buying the food trucks and kind of trying to jump on the bandwagon of the of the smaller companies so we have that to uh, worry about now nowadays as well but uh we're not too worried about it uh and actually uh, Chef Joey is was going to join us, but he is on a fire uh, down in San Diego County. And from what I understand, there's there's a fire uh, burning in uh, the Idlewild area, Riverside County, um, over 14,000 acres, burned down some homes. So to all the firefighters out there listening, uh, obviously stay safe. Uh, we're, we're just getting started with fire season, and everything that we've seen here in Southern California is kind of showing that uh, it's going to be – a pretty ferocious fire season throughout the uh, southwestern United States. Yeah. It, so I think Chef Joey is actually, he's on a strike team up on the mountain fire, what's being called up in Idlewild. Oh, he is on that one. Okay. I, I believe he is on that one. And okay. uh, I definitely just a, a shout out to all our brothers and sisters out there. Be safe. And uh, you know what? Let's keep the all the firefighters on the line up there on that mountain fire in our thoughts and prayers. Um, no more memorials. Um Let's let's make this a, a, a safe season. Yes, uh, amen to that. And as many of you know, uh, last week I attended, uh, along with thousands of firefighters from all over the world, the memorial service in uh, Prescott, Arizona, that was held for the 19 Granite Mountain hotshots that died on June 30th in um, the fire in Yarnell. And yesterday, um, Chef Don and I, along with hundreds of firefighters here in Southern California, attended the service for Kevin Wojak. And Kevin was the 21-year-old firefighter that uh, was born and raised in Orange County, California, and he passed away. Um, it, was a, it was a very moving memorial service. 
and it was nice to see the the support once again and just the the logistical uh, the logistical support from all the different fire departments within Southern California and the way the, the Los Angeles County Fire Department uh, orchestrated the whole thing and put it together was great. So yeah, a special praise to the to the Los Angeles County Fire Department. They uh, they stepped it up big time. Very very impressed and uh, um, they they need to be proud of themselves. They did an outstanding job for their uh, fellow firefighter uh, Captain Joe, who lost his son. Um, extremely proud of uh, L.A. County. As you know out there, we mentioned on FHC Radio before that Kevin Wojak, he actually worked for uh, Firehouse Chefs on our food truck here in Los Angeles and helped out with uh, with different catering events. So it, it really hit home with us. And again, Kevin, Kevin's dad, Joe, is uh, a dear friend of ours. And it was it was just great being able to be there for him and the outpouring of love and support is exactly what he needs, and Joe is just a special guy. So, Joe has actually said that um, in the uh, in the near future he would actually like to come on FHC Radio and and talk about Kevin and talk about some of the events because something that came out of yesterday's memorial was the uh, Los Angeles County Fire Chief Daryl Osby stating how this now this fire is just going to um, basically be studied forever and it's it's just going to be fire service history and i think that was one of the biggest things that i i got out of that uh the service was the fact that this is up there when we study fires uh, man gulch storm king mountain uh, chef you, you can go ahead and include any of the bigger ones that, that you can think of but these very very big incidents that that kill a lot of uh firefighters and and right now specifically to the the wildland firefighting community we're speaking of but these are things that are going to be studied, and, and there's going to be a lot of lessons learned. Uh, there, there always are, and so it's going to be uh, interesting as, as the weeks, months, and years go by. It, even our, uh, our chief financial officer, uh, uh, retired Chief Bill Clayton, was there with us. And, you know, this, this gentleman's got over uh, 55 years of fire service experience and uh, e even even Bill was uh, he's looking forward to the studies um, to to see what what happened out there. Yes. So there's there's definitely going to be a, a lot uh, that we're going to be able to take from it. And once again, it's it was great being part of the the brotherhood and seeing that uh, living well and strong yesterday here in Southern California. So. Again, to the Wojak family and to all the uh, brothers and sisters out there that uh, have experienced some uh, some pain, we just we love you. We continue to support you, and hopefully, we're going to continue to get the the message across about what we do and and how many lives and and different things, property, everything that firefighters save on a daily basis. So uh, we thank you for your for your service. Uh, once again, you're listening to FHC Radio on the Rant Radio Network. Um, our phone number, 855-969-7268. And with our topic being uh, food trucks tonight, uh, we wanted to kind of mention the food truck that we kind of happen to love the most, the FHC food truck. And I think uh, Chef Don is going to kind of get into the FHC food truck a little bit because we... We've mentioned it um, briefly in other other shows, but we since it's the topic tonight, we, we kind of definitely want to talk about uh, the Firehouse Chef's food truck and what we're doing here specifically in Los Angeles. It is a gourmet food truck. Um, our executive chef, the, the good-looking guy sitting next to me, uh, Chef Eddie, is, uh, you can pay me later, <laughs> is... <Yeah. laughs> uh, he has created a lot of the recipes that we're putting out there. His His background... And then taking his the, that whole southwestern theme and a little bit of the the Pacific Rim, he's developed some marinades. What we marinade our chicken and our beef in, our sliders just aren't the everyday sliders. Uh, we're putting out gourmet sliders. These things, um, people just rave about them. So if you've not tried the Firehouse Chef's food truck, you got to find us. Look for us. We're we're easy to spot. And try our food, our uh, our our tater tots with stinky mics on it. They're and, a huge hit. And, and don't take the stinky mics the wrong way. Huge that's hit. 
that's a, an awesome, awesome sauce that we're putting on our tater tots. But uh, and, and we're going to talk a little bit about this again. Um, it's just not a food truck. We also do outstanding catering, everything from weddings to parties, whatever you want. Um, and we're going to get into this a little bit more in, in later on in the, in the show. But uh, we can take our six chefs and we can produce some outstanding catered events. The Firehouse Chef food truck, um, we can also do some very healthy food in our salads. Whatever you do on a, on a slider, we can put on a salad for you. Uh, our garlic aioli, um, you know what? I could drink that stuff straight out. It is, <laughs> it is some uh, awesome, awesome stuff. Uh, so look for us. Um, we're, we're out there. Uh, you, can, uh, you can Google us, and there's a map on our, on our um, web page, and it'll show you where the food trucks are and, and what we're doing. So don't uh, don't be a stranger to our uh, our our web page, and go please go visit our food truck, and those of you in uh, in the fire service, hey we're here for you. Give us a call, and those of you that are listening tonight, um, you know what? Bring a couple of good-looking firefighters over to your event, and uh, we'll bring the truck and we'll cook you up some uh, gourmet meals yeah just to add to that uh chef don you can always find us on uh, our facebook pages uh you can search firehouse chefs and also yes. fhc food truck right there if you're uh, watching us at rantradionetwork.com or firehousechefs.com you can see our firehouse chefs page the other one is under fhc food truck and that is specific to the food truck so that'll tell you uh where we're at every day around Southern California. Also our Twitter pages, the same thing, at FHC Food Truck and at Firehouse Chefs. We are coming up on a commercial break. You're listening to FHC Radio on the Rant Radio Network, 855-969-7268, 855-969-RANT. Stay tuned for more. Don't burn anything down. Firehouse Chefs will be right back. Wow, y'all listening to Rat Radio Network, unpredictably entertaining. Wow. Hi, parents. If you have kids in sports, then you need to listen to Kids in Sports with Coach Mike every Tuesday from 9 to 11 on the Rant Radio Network. We'll be talking softball and much more. Help your kids succeed, teach first, win later. Coach Mike here. We'll see you on Tuesday in the Rant Radio Network. Dirty Truth Radio Show, where we'll be talking about relationships, marriage, how to have sex, dating, first dating, what not to do while well dating, why middle-aged women are very easy, don't talk about sex on the first date, why shouldn't you, don't say X about on the first date, why religion should never be mentioned, <laughs> <laughs> and demasculating, <laughs> and demasculating men, <laughs> alpha males, and alpha males, why women love alpha males but won't, but Girl, won't admit you know it, yes we do, on Tuesdays from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. Only on RantRadioNetwork.com. No You're listening to The Mommy Talk, a place where mommies, and don't forget dads, can share their everyday accomplishments and challenges, y mucho más. So tune in every Friday here at RantRadioNetwork.com from 11 through 12. And don't forget to call in at 855-969-RANT. The number is 855-969-RENT. You can follow us on Facebook at The Mommy Talk Show. See you then. You're listening to What Honesty Feels Like with Christine Sawicki that airs every Tuesday from 8 to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can catch us on rantradionetwork.com. If you're one of the most successful people in the world, I want to talk to you. I want to know how you got there where you're going, and who you're giving back to. So call me at 855-969-7268 and check in with me, the most successful people in the world. A home is the biggest investment in most people's lives. Buying or selling should be a positive experience. Whether you want to be a wealthy real estate investor or just trying to find a place to call home. At AJR Associates, we focus on the client's needs. We understand the market better than most. 
Let us bring the value to you and make the right choice. AJR and Associates making your dream house a reality. Call us today for a free consultation at 562-882-1976. Or you can log on to www.agrrealtors.com. With the track record of great results, bringing knowledge, wisdom, and expertise to you. Hablamos Español. Welcome to Firehouse Chefs. I'm your host, Eddie Sell, and I will take you on a journey with America's chefs, firefighters, service industry professionals, and more as we discuss food, recipes, nutrition, and lifestyle topics. Stay tuned and enjoy the ride. Welcome back to FHC Radio. You're joined by your host, Eddie Sell, and Chef Don Heiser. Welcome back again, Chef. Um, Glad to be here. Straight from the fire lines in San Diego County. And uh, again, we um, are happy to be joined tonight by Josh Hiller, Esquire. And if you have any questions about um, the culinary world, food trucks tonight happens to be our topic, but uh, any questions that you might have for um, Chef Don or myself or for Josh, the phone number is 855-969-RANT, 855-969-7268. And I also hey, just hey want, chef. want yes, hey yes, chef Josh Esquire. Does that mean he's royalty? Do do, do we got to kiss what? his ring or something? I, what, what what's what's the Esquire thing? I, I, it just sounds awesome. It reminds me of like an uh, episode of Fletch. You know, if you guys remember the movie Fletch, you know, from the eighties. <laughs> um, anyways, that's just kind of a fire station movie that seems to make the rounds yeah. all the time. We're not going to cut you any <laughs> slack, Josh. So just get ready. But, uh, yeah, we are happy to be joined by Josh, and we're going to bring him on here. Um, I just wanted to mention really quick that uh, we're excited to kind of announce that as the weeks unfold here with the upcoming episodes of FHC Radio, uh, next week we're going to be joined by one of our firehouse chefs in New Mexico, Kip Bricks. And, again, that kind of goes into the entire firehouse chefs project and the fact that there are firefighters from around the United States, uh, North America, Canada, and even the world that have contributed in some way, shape, or form by recipes, by inspiration. So Kip Ricks from uh, New Mexico is going to be joining us, and he actually has made some of our signature spices. He's uh, authored a couple of cookbooks, so, and he has a very interesting story. Uh, the, f the week after that, uh, on uh, our July 31st show, we're going to have celebrity chef Lala in studio here, and uh, Chef Lala have actually done some different uh, cooking events with her in Southern California, and she also has food products that you can find in Whole Foods markets. So it's going to be fun to have Chef Lala in studio. And in August, we are uh, pleased to announce, too, we're going to have an actress by the name of Angie Savage. And Angie is currently on the show Sons of Anarchy, and she has an interesting business as well. <laughs> nice. Thank you very much. Sons of Anarchy fan there. Uh, and also uh, Dan Clark, a.k.a. Nitro, from American Gladiators is going to be another guest. And so continue to listen to FHC Radio. The guests continue to get uh, bigger and better. And tonight we have the Arnold Schwarzenegger of the food truck community. <laughs> right? Josh is uh, flexing right in front of me right now. So with... Uh, is that what that was? Yeah, that's what it was. So with that, Josh... Welcome to FHC Radio. It's good to be here. Thanks for uh, inviting me. Of course, of course. Um, we just want to start off by just basically asking you about your background and if you can start getting into that, because I know it's kind of an interesting story. Obviously, you're you're an attorney and, and how you ended up kind of getting into the food business. Um, well, it started with Kogi, really. The guys that started Kogi, the food truck that kind of started the whole momentum. Sure. They were good friends of ours, and I did their legal work to help them get started. They had no money, so we all kind of pitched in and helped. Morris, my business partner in Road Stoves, his family had the food trucks, so they gave him a truck and, and taught him about the streets, and I you know, did the paperwork, and Kogi blew up. Um, and then Morris and I sat and talked one night, and we said, let's, let's turn this into a business. You, you, you know, he had all the assets, and we kind of just turned him a little bit and started this gourmet thing. Okay. And what have you noticed as far as the uh, – because I, cause I happen to know uh, another one of your business partners, Herman, who has been in the industry for, for decades. And and how – how Kogi was obviously probably – would you were they the first actual or at least the, the most successful? Yeah, as yeah. They were the first, really. Okay. I mean, 
uh, there's rickshaw dumplings in New York that might have been kind of a gourmet right around the same time, but Kogi really was the first out here at least. And Herman Herman is Morris's dad. Okay. And people call him the godfather of the food truck totally, industry. Totally, yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, it's perfect. I mean, he fits that mold, right? And we have the godfather of the fire service we uh, do. as our CFO, Bill Clayton, so it's kind of cool to have Herman as the godfather of the food truck. <laughs> <laughs> and he was, he was going to join tonight, okay. but yeah, he, he couldn't make it, but... Um, He's been doing it for 40 plus years. I mean, he started, he's an immigrant, and he started driving a truck when he was maybe 19 or 20, something like that. And literally went from driving a truck to to owning a fleet and, you know, kind of being the godfather. So Herman really, it, it all doesn't happen without Herman. Okay. That's very cool. And uh, And what did he... So when you decided to kind of get into it yourself, and, and obviously you and Morris started seeing the success of Kogi and going... You formed, you created Road Stoves. Do you want to talk about what Road Stoves is and what that's all about? Road Stoves was just, it was, it was, so when we helped Kogi start, mm -hmm. we sort of did informally what we do as Road Stoves. We did legal work. We gave him a truck, obviously. We taught him about the streets, try and teach, you know, driving instructions on the truck, how to take care of trucks. So it's really, it's an entity to kind of take chefs and entrepreneurs and put them in trucks and, and help them hit the streets and try and, you know, be successful. It, it, nothing's guaranteed. You know, obviously there are failures, but, you know, we do our best to kind of teach people about food trucks and, and give them a shot. And uh, what, and uh, feel free, Chef, to, uh, you know, you as a chef as well with your background and as far as like the the catering and, and now Chef Don, you've had the opportunity to work on the, the Firehouse Chef's food truck and see the differences of your space limitations if you will and you obviously learn to adapt to your environment i mean yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes it's not a lot of space right no um but you know what's funny the, the the real chefs will get on a truck and they'll say i got this totally yep i agree i can do this you get people that get oh there's not enough space how right. can i eat if they always want to blame, blame the equipment that's that's just an excuse so you guys obviously right. do it. Yeah. Your chefs, you say, you know what? We make it happen. Right. We do. We do. And our and our kids that are our three amigos plus one now are um it, it's amazing what they can do in that that small space. And it's not it's not the appliances that make the meal. It's it's the chefs in there, it's their desire, their love, and their passion that that turns out the quality food in the gourmet trucks. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's any trucks. I mean, the traditional Hispanic trucks really run with two people and they turn out great, great food. Oh, yeah. Or the gourmets like Kogi, they'll run with five people in a truck because they do so much volume. Sure. And it's, I mean, I love their food. Sure. It, it doesn't matter. It's, you know, the equipment's the same, you know, and people, if people can do it. Uh, Kogi has one of the oldest beat up trucks in the fleet. And I always bring people over and say, you see that truck right there? It does more business than any truck in LA. Yeah, that's. Uh, and it's okay. not the truck. It's. Like you said, the chefs, yes. the food, the passion, right. the work. The concept, every everything works together. You right. know? Josh, is there one cuisine uh, or a, a truck that's doing a particular cuisine that seems to be more of a superstar out there? Or what's – in the business you have, what's – what? I guess what I'm going to ask is what makes a successful truck? Is it the cuisine? Is there one that's better? Give us – well, th there's one common theme that kind of ran through this this gourmet thing, and that was fusion, which kind of take it or leave it, it is what it is, but Kogi was Korean-Mexican fusion. And with their success, you had a lot of people just trying to fuse everything. Obviously, some things don't work, but it's really kind of a training ground, a, a, you know, a lab. They're labs, basically, and people can try new concepts. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we talked about this earlier. Corporate can come in, like Jack in the Box did a truck. But there's a jack in the box on every corner. Sure, right. So right. you know, In and Out has a truck. It's right. great, but there's an In. It. Yeah. It, it th these are labs for people to try new concepts. So right. that's what really makes a truck. Because at the end of the day, if it's something people like, they can only get it at your truck. Right. Yeah, I think I think that's a great point. And uh, in fact, and and we happen to uh, coin the the term uh, firehouse fusion food, and kind of came up with that because it was really really appropriate for our menu and our concept that's exactly the fire service happens to reflect america these days and obviously fusion it's not only a buzzword it's it's truly what's out there and and a lot of us these days obviously we love yes. to 
put, you know, you're, you're going to put hot sauce on your fried chicken or you're going to put, you, you know what I mean? So you're combining all these flavors. And I, I think it was brilliant with what they did, but we're seeing it in the firehouse. And that's exactly what we want to uh, show off to the folks out there. I mean, at the end of the day, it's the biggest. I mean, L.A.'s a melting pot, sure. truly. And Roy Choi, the chef from Kogi, he uh-huh. was a Korean American that grew up in a very Hispanic area. So he had Korean food at home, but right. Mexican food out. And he kind of fused it. That's, you know, we're in L.A. That's what it is. Right. And that's great. And you're, and you're seeing that same thing uh, not only work in other parts of the country, but obviously the, the demographics are changing everywhere. And, and that's why I think the food truck revolution is here to stay. And when we come back from our next commercial break, we kind of dive into that more. But is it something that you totally see staying? It, lo- it looks like that uh, that those companies that are successful, that have a good foundation, a good concept and blueprint, seem to be the ones that are that are thriving. Yeah, I mean, people have kind of gotten over the roach coach mentality of food right. trucks and say, you know what, these it, it's not necessarily a roach coach anymore. And so people are willing to try that weren't before. So it's here to stay, I think. Uh, Josh, what, did Sizzler have a truck? They did. They did. It was under a different name. The ZZ something like that. Wasn't it the ZZ something, truck? Uh, uh, it, anyhow, it was, it was a different, what, what, yeah, yeah, I believe it was a ZZ Is it truck. still out there? What ha- did I that? don't know. I don't know. But, you know, A for effort, to be doing a different truck, a different name. I don't know what the menu was, but that's not, you know, food, the foodies, the people that go to the trucks, these yes. are really, you know, they, they want something new and different. Sizzler doesn't, I mean, no offense, doesn't do it for them. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, food truck foodies are... Um, even though some of them will visit the what we call the the brick and mortar restaurants and places, their passion is the food truck, the different the styles of cuisine what's out there, and that's what they're looking for. Like you talked about the uh, what was it, Stinkin' Mike's, Stinky, Stinky Mike's, Mike's garlic sauce, yeah. tots, yeah, that's yeah. something that's unique. I mean, to you, right, where do you else do you get that? Exactly, nope. Only you know, with firehouse chefs. Firehouse chefs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mike. And Mike yeah. doesn't stink. Just <laughs> let's just keep that up. Yeah, we, we do have to uh, to mention that. Yeah. And and not only that, but Mike happens to be very talented, and and he actually created a a paleo style uh, meal replacement bar, if you will, that is another product that we're going to be kind of talking about that we're very excited. Looking to. Looking at bringing that to our four bell yeah. section of of what we do. Exactly, and that and that's what's cool is the yeah. fact that. There aren't a lot of uh, food trucks out, out there that offer healthier menu options, and we happen to do that, and so we are very proud of that. But mm-hmm. again, um, the overall word for us is moderation. Yes. So, Chef, we're coming up on our break. So, uh... All right, here we are. You listen to FHC Radio on the Rant Radio Network. Again, our phone number tonight is 855-969-RANT, 855-969-RANT. Stay tuned for more with Josh. Don't burn anything down. Firehouse Chefs will be right back. News in America. Tonight's headline story, Rant Radio Network. Miss the show? That's okay. You can catch it 24 hours a day. This just in. Want your own radio show? Call us at 855-969-RANCH. That is 855-969-7268, and you'll become the headline. We are the Three Guys Rant with Arvin, Mike, and Phil. Coming to you on the Rant Radio Network every Monday from 6 to 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can call us at 855-69-THE-THREE-GUYS. <laughs> it's not the three guys. This is why you should turn in, because one has Tourette's. The you other really, one's illiterate. You really should listen, and you never know what's going to happen. 855-693-GUYS. G-U-Y-S and the number three, not the. Faces yeah. for radio, voices for the deaf. Look forward to talking to you. Hey, I'm audio candy. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Hey, bro, this is a good game. You know what would make it better? What, bro? A michelada. A michelada? What's a michelada? A michelada is somewhere in the middle of a Mexican Bloody Mary and a Mexican margarita. Oh, I got you covered, bro. You got a cup in your pocket? No, sir. I got my pocket-sized michelada. Mucho macho michelada. pocket size? pocket size, so you can take it with you anywhere you go. Where'd you get that at? At the nearest convenience store, and you can also buy it at muchomachomichelada.com. 
You know what will make it better? After we get drunk, if they had a line, we can call. We can call their drunk line. You can leave a message and then log on to the site and listen to your stupidity afterwards. What's that number? It's 855-MICHE69. What's that number again? 855-MICHE69. Awesome. Mucho macho michelada. Hi, I'm Aaron Michael Sanchez. And I'm Kelly V. Dolan. And we are excited to announce our show live with Aaron Kelly is on Rant Radio Network. What do we talk about on our show, Kelly? We talk about everything from entertainment to business and tech, and we have a few laughs in between. <laughs> That's right. Go check us out on rantradionetwork.com. That's rantradionetwork.com. Check it out. What's up, guys? Sports Guru and Bud Knocker from the Sportscast Wednesdays, 12 to 2 Pacific on Rant Radio Network. We got everything you need to know about sports. We got all the latest video highlights. We got You Got Knocked the Fuck Out. We got Bonehead of the Week. We're talking sports, drinking beer, and having a good time. If you missed the show, go to rantradionetwork.com and listen on demand. So check us out every Wednesday, 12 to 2 on Rant Radio Network. You're listening to What Honesty Feels Like with Christine Sawicki that airs every Tuesday from 8 to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can catch us on rantradionetwork.com. If you're one of the most successful people in the world, I want to talk to you. I want to know how you got there, where you're going, and who you're giving back to. So call me at 855-969-7268 and check in with me, the most successful people in the world. Welcome to Firehouse Chefs. I'm your host, Eddie Sell, and I will take you on a journey with America's chefs, firefighters, service industry professionals, and more as we discuss food, recipes, nutrition, and lifestyle topics. Stay tuned and enjoy the ride. Well, welcome back to FHC Radio out there. You're listening to Firehouse Chefs Radio. The phone number here is 855-969-7268. 855-969-RANT. I am Eddie Sell, and I'm joined by my co-host, Chef Don. Welcome back, Chef Don. And we're joined by Josh Hiller, uh, <laughs> Esquire. I'm going to keep <laughs> saying that. <laughs> Attorney extraordinaire and uh, partner in uh, in road stoves. Well, I spent uh, a lot of money getting that degree, so <laughs> you know what? It's fair. I'll yeah, take it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And uh, maybe he can, uh, he, since he went to school in uh, Santa Barbara, I'm sure he's pretty familiar with uh, State Street and, um, oh, yeah. and some of the other uh, shenanigans that go on in, in Santa Barbara. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Some wild times. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying. So, yeah. and tonight's uh, topic on FHC Radio is uh, the food truck revolution and obviously just uh, what's going on uh, with, uh, with food trucks all over uh, North America. And it's fueled by a lot of television shows. Eat Street, I know Eat Street actually, their blog covered Firehouse Chefs a food truck when when we first came out, and they were really excited about it. It looks like yeah, we it, got a, we, call, a we got a caller on line one, Chef. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and uh, pick that up. Caller, welcome to FHC Radio. Hey, hello. Hello. Hi there. You're on FHC Radio. Hi, this is Melanie. How are you guys? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm just calling to let you know I'm listening to your show, and you guys, I think you guys are awesome. Oh, thank you very much. And also that I love your food truck. I love your um, seared ahi sliders. Those are awesome with your um, sweet potato fries. Oh, thank you so much. You know, it's it's one of the items that uh, you can't find seared ahi on, on very many uh, food trucks, so yeah. we're, we're pretty proud of that, and to be able to offer something that uh, is a little bit on the on the healthier uh, lighter side so we really really appreciate that you you love the seared ahi absolutely it's, it's i think it's delicious i think it's one of the best lighters i've had oh well thank you so much did thank you, you do you have a question uh, tonight for josh um anything about uh learning about the uh, the growing food truck communities or anything like that no actually i think that's an awesome idea i mean to try the different food trucks that are out there uh-huh it's great that you, you know you're able just to try different gourmet food from a food truck everybody's not used to that they're used to just the taco trucks that you see out there do you get off a bunch of food trucks do i well i try going to the food festivals that they have the food truck festivals we had um gone to one in 
video from the Boys and Girls Club, I know that um, the fire truck was there, and also we've um, had some in Cerritos as well. Nice. Yes. Yeah, we're actually in, uh, if you're in Southern California um, tonight, well, in Cerritos, uh, the Firehouse Chef's food truck is there right now. <laughs> but I think oh, really? They're, yeah, they're going to be wrapping things up, uh, I believe, at 9 p.m. But, again, you can always uh, find out where the FHC food truck is on our Facebook, Twitter, and uh, and the website as well. So thank you so much for calling, though. We really, really appreciate the support. We, um, we have another caller that we're going to get to, but we really okay, appreciate awesome. you calling FHC Radio. Okay, well, awesome, and good luck to you guys, and I'll be hearing you next week as well. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank Take you for care. calling. Thank you. Have oh. a good night. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm going to try this, Chef. I think line two. Hi. Oh. I don't think that worked. <laughs> Are we good on line two? We're, we're talking to our producer and director. We're good on line two, Chef. Hi there, you're on FHC Radio with Eddie Sell and Chef Don. Are you there? Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. How are you, sir? Very good, very good. This is Edwin calling from Wisconsin. Oh, how are you, sir? Very good, very good. Uh, I'm a fireman out in Wisconsin. I do a little cooking myself. Okay. And would love to have a food truck. Are, are you guys, is there any other opportunities to expand Firehouse Chefs anywhere else? Well, that's a, that's actually a, a great question, and uh, we are going to kind of start teasing that a little bit. Um, Josh, do you want to you want to kind of answer uh, Edwin's question and uh, and get to a little bit of that? Was was this called a plant? Well, yeah, I don't know, but uh, but we're happy that Wisconsin the the cheeseheads are out there. You know, Ed, it was Edwin, right? Go Packers! Yeah. Go Pack! Yeah, Packer fan. Uh, yeah, Edwin, right? Yes, sir. Um, good to meet you. This is Josh uh, with Road Stoves, and. Uh, uh, Eddie and I had been talking and Chef Don about actually expanding the Firehouse Chef's food truck. So, oh, wow. yeah, if you're looking to get a Firehouse Chef's food truck in Wisconsin, stay in touch because it's uh, the opportunity is coming up. Yeah. I thought I had an original idea. I guess <laughs> not, huh? Well, that's kind of the beauty yeah. of it is uh, is is for for firefighters out there. We just want everybody to know that. Uh, that an opportunity is going to exist to basically join um, our firehouse chefs team, and uh, and with some of the the great opportunities that that we've had with uh, with our brand expanding and a lot of the relationships, um, as you know, Ed, it's uh, that's half the battle. Uh, making uh, kind of having that foundation with with the various organizations, whether it's uh, whether it's the unions or labor or management, if you will, and just the, uh, the buy-in of the community. So we worked very hard for that, and um, the, the time is right, and the opportunity is, is right in front of us to do that and, and offer these franchises to firefighters. Edwin, are you a chef? Yeah, I, well, I cook at the firehouse, and I, I okay. do, you know, we, we do a lot around there, and we followed firehouse chefs for a long time, actually ordered a bunch of their spices and Love what they're doing. The only problem I have is I don't have any tattoos yet. So <laughs> well, I mean, um, one of those. <laughs> unless unless Chef Don hasn't, uh, you know, <laughs> shared with us. Um, uh, I don't know if he has any yet. Either. Nope. No, <laughs> okay, I'm good. Right. Well, stay clean, Edwin. Okay, stay yeah, clean, well, yeah. <laughs> Edwin. We've got a caller on line three. We thank you for calling us. And uh, you know what? If you're truly interested in that truck. Stay in touch because we've got some outstanding things uh, about ready to uh, launch, and uh, we're working with uh, Josh here on putting that together. Well, sounds good. I hope too many people don't jump on it. I thought I was going to be the originator here, but uh, I'm, I'm glad to hear and appreciate all you guys do. Thanks for having me. Ed- Edwin, we're, we're holding a top spot for you. Don't worry about <laughs> it. You, you, you're, uh, you're priority number one. I want to be number one. You got hey, it, brother. Thank you so much for the call. We appreciate your support. Thank you very much. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, okay so. Chef, we're going to line three. All righty. Let's see let's what see happens. Is, let's see if there's all kinds of feedback again. Uh, okay, I think we're good on line three, Chef. All right. Caller on line three, you're on FHC Radio with Chef Eddie and Chef Don and Josh Esquire. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yes, sir. Hi, this is Howard Wexler. I'm a big fan of uh, Firehouse Chefs. Hi, Mr. Wexler. How are you? 
wonderful. I just wanted to give you guys some good props uh, on some sliders I've had. The uh, seared ahi is my favorite with the aioli sauce. Wow, seared ahi is uh, you're the second caller tonight actually that uh, that love the uh, the seared ahi and the and the garlic aioli. So we appreciate that. Anything else on the truck that you would recommend to the folks in Southern California? Well, you know, the, the jarritos, um, sodas are always yeah. a pleasure. Uh, the tater tots, um, man, everything's good. I don't know where to start and where to stop, but uh, it's really good. It's good seeing, the, seeing you guys in the community. Uh, well, thank you so much. And we appreciate um, our, our partners over at Jarritos and also CTO Coconut Water in Long Beach. And Fireman's Brew as well. Uh, we we can't seem to uh, keep their sodas though for uh, for very long. I actually ran into Rob yesterday briefly, yeah. and we'll have to uh, have a little conversation with uh, the guys at Fireman's Brew and make sure we have their sodas. But uh, we really appreciate the support, Howard, and you know uh, just make sure you tell all your friends and remember that uh, that we cater. We can do all sorts of parties, divorce parties, retirements. Birthday parties, you name weddings, it. <laughs> weddings, uh, bar mitzvahs. Absolutely, yes. why not? Okay. okay, all right. Well, I'll, I got your card. Okay, cool. Well, well, thank you so much for the support, and um, you have a good night. And, and please call us back another time. Thank you for the thank, call. Thanks, Jeff. Take okay. care. Take care. Bye. All right, cool. So, yeah, it's it's great to hear that kind of feedback and i know that when uh, that when we get uh, the emails or the direct messages on twitter and, and people are happy and that's the thing i think because and you you would know this better than anyone but there are a lot of choices in in the la food truck market and chef don lives in san diego county where there are a lot and right now we're looking at uh, some pictures on the screen josh and if anything right here triggers any any sort of thoughts, just let us know. That was the uh, the great food truck race last yeah. season, I think, th season three. Okay. Uh, we supplied all the trucks, but that was uh, no, that was probably maybe one quarter of the way. They drove cross country. Right. L.A. Yeah. to Maine. Um, I think there was one or two eliminations before that, but it was, it was, a, it was a fun experience. You know, okay. We kind of taught them how to drive and uh, gave them trucks, and that was a fun season. This was the uh, ES – it was during World Cup uh, a couple years ago. And uh, that was up on Hollywood Boulevard. They put a big TV screen, and uh, Kogi did the menu for that that truck. It was a special uh, you, you know, worldwide theme menu. Oh, cool! It was a World cool. Cup. Okay. Um, yeah, it was fun. So yeah, with corporate. Uh, oh, this <laughs> that was a Halloween costume. <laughs> okay. And I kind of knew it had hit pop culture when I saw the grilled cheese truck as a Halloween costume. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It, you know. Um, but yeah, it's fun. Like I guess it's 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 injected its way into culture. With you see ESPN, this was a uh, Baron Davis. Uh, he did a he used to play basketball. In basketball the NBA. player, yeah, sure. basketball yeah. player. So Baron Davis, it was for his shoe and shirt line, and we converted a truck into a like a shoe store. Okay, he used, That's to, cool. used to go to his charity events and and signings. This mm -hmm. was a uh, we did an episode of Master. That's Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay yeah, yep. driving the truck. We did an episode of Master Chef. It was a big uh, competition. So that's what we were talking about earlier. It's it's here to stay. And we've actually uh, we've had some really cool opportunities uh, again with uh, Southern California and, and Hollywood being the the entertainment uh, mecca. We we've been fortunate to get hired to do different uh, television shows, uh, movie movie shoots, that sort of thing, and in, even cater at some celebrities' houses. We can't we're not really at liberty to say who because of uh, some uh, non disclosure stuff, but. Uh, it's really, really cool to, to be able to be part of that and uh, and offer that. And even the celebrities are, t are they love the food truck thing. Like that, well, that last caller, bar mitzvahs. Yeah. I mean, there's there's private parties up in Hollywood, weddings. You know, Kogi's catering weddings these days. Yeah, it we're doing the same thing. Yeah, it's it's everywhere now. It's accepted. It's part of the community. And what's really really cool if people want to uh, let their hair down a little bit and and kind of go the non traditional route and they don't want to eat a bunch of rubber chicken dinners, it's a great way <laughs> to do it. And uh, we're going to have one more segment here. Josh is going to stick around for a little bit just to tie up some loose ends. You're listening to FHC Radio on the Rant Radio Network. Telephone number 855-969-RANT, 855-969-R-A-N-T. Give us a call if you have any questions regarding Don't the Don't burn anything down. Revolution. Firehouse Chefs will be right back. What up, foodie freaks? It's Chef Bev Lazo with the Culinary Trend Show. Join me and my brigade every Thursday night 
from 8 to 9 p.m. where we will be cooking up some crazy stuff that will give you the appetite for discussion. It's all about the good food, good friends, and good times. Only here on RantRadioNetwork.com. What's up, everyone? Sports Guru here. Sick of looking at the same old boring websites? Well, check out thenewsportsguru.com for all the hottest training videos and all the biggest sports news. Become a VIP for only $4.99 and get premium access to everything the Sports Guru has to offer. The beautiful Gurus Girls, all my biggest sports picks, and much more. So get off that porn site and check out thenewsportsguru.com. The experts know that for pastry, Baker's Bodega has it all. Exclusive brands like West Co. Bank Mart, Sat Nice, and Pastry Pride. One-on-one day seminars for cake decorating and gelatin art. So for our service, wide range of ingredients and supplies, and for the low prices, Baker's Bodega has it all. But you don't need to be an expert. Baker's Bodega, 7869 Paramount Boulevard in Pico Rivera. Come, we're waiting for you. Hi, I'm Alex Alanis. And I'm Alonso Rodriguez. And And we are Real Estate Rant. Every Wednesday morning between 10 and 11 a.m. Here at the Towers of Rant Radio Network. No problems, just solutions. Be sure to call in with your real estate problems, rants, questions, or comments, and let us try to find you a solution. Tell us about an experience, good or bad, and finally bury the hatchet once and for all. In the world of real estate, find a fresh perspective. There's a lot more than meets the eye. Help us to ensure the public trust one rant at a time. DM Narc Radio Show is now airing on the Rant Radio Network. You've heard the three guys rant refer to us as the Clam Chowder Power Hour. Now we get to bring our New England humor over to Los Angeles. We'll be airing Friday at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 Eastern, and we'll cover everything from local to national politics and news. Guess what? We're uncensored, too. I'm Dave. Join me and Nick Friday on the Rant Radio Network. We're the Brothers Bear Podcast Live, and I'm your host, Sanch, and I'm always joined by... Edgar. Carlos Madrano, And this is a show where we talk about... Comics? Movies? TV? Video games? Stand-up? Music? And many more geeky things? Catch us live on Rat Radio Network on Mondays from 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. That's another commercial in the back. Welcome to Firehouse Chefs. I'm your host, Eddie Sell, and I will take you on a journey with America's chefs, firefighters, service industry professionals, and more as we discuss food, recipes, nutrition, and lifestyle topics. Stay tuned and enjoy the ride. Welcome back to FHC Radio. You're joined by Eddie Sell and Chef Don Heiser. And tonight we have Josh Hiller, Esquire. Of uh, road stoves, and uh, and again, the topic tonight has been uh, food trucks, and so for this uh, final segment, we just wanted to kind of tie up any loose ends. We wanted to uh, talk a little bit about the food truck, how some of the food trucks are actually laid out. What do you see, maybe, um, Josh, as far as like food trucks in the next five, ten years? Are you seeing any other new trends? But uh, we can uh, definitely cover that and. I just kind of wanted to start off with, um, you know, we, we kind of in the last segment started teasing that when uh, when Edwin in uh, Wisconsin was asking about franchise opportunities, uh, we are very uh, proud and, and pleased to announce that we are moving in that direction with Firehouse Chefs and Road Stoves and Josh, uh, Herman and uh, Mo are going to be part of that. So it's very, very exciting and we're glad to hear that there's support out there and uh, there are... Um, just in a quick little snapshot, there's basically there's two million firefighters across, and you're looking at our website right now, firehousechefs.com. Um, I think that's actually an old uh, old uh, screen grab because our, our website looks different now. But anyhow, if you go to firehousechefs.com, you'll see some of the uh, the changes of of our website. But there are two million paid and volunteer firefighters across the United States. And obviously, we are targeting our franchise opportunities for firefighters, uh, first responders around North America and that might 
have uh, a little bit of a, a capital that they that, that they're looking to invest in a different area uh, maybe team up with a group of firefighters and they happen to have what we have here in Southern California which is the fact that there are a lot of firefighters within their respective communities that are going to support this type of operation and support a, a fellow firefighter by uh, basically when when there is those parties or when it when there are those catering events or those large scale events and what we do is is not we we you can attest to this too uh, a lot of how firehouse chefs started was by doing a, a ton of charity work and and volunteering our time so that's a lot of what we're we're looking to do and uh, we were talking during the the break about how some of our chefs and here if you guys are looking at firehousechefs.com or rantradionetwork.com you can see the firehouse chefs food truck and um, one of the things that we've done here in southern california is to team up with a local community college and we're and we're looking to kind of do that now with other culinary schools and do that across the country and it's it's a great opportunity to basically uh, establish an internship program where these young culinary minds are able to kind of like get to work on a food truck and see what that lifestyle is all about compared to a brick and mortar restaurant and that and the only thing that that does is actually makes you a very well-rounded chef with a lot of different experience so uh, you know it's it's a very exciting time and if you do uh, have any inquiries about a, a franchise opportunity uh, don't hesitate to contact us you can get to us uh, via our website uh, firehousechefs.com also firehousechefs at yahoo.com is, is our um, email address it's probably the best one for that uh, so Josh why don't we just kind of get into uh, why why would you know why do you, and that's uh, that's your town isn't it that's, Chef Don that was Encinitas we were then, down in Encinitas yeah we're, we're showing some of our signature spices some of our apparel if you have any questions um, or if you want to see some of what we have to offer you can go to firehousechefs.com again for the array of all of our apparel all of our signature spices uh why why do you think a food truck is a good way to start compared to a brick and mortar for uh, whether it's an aspiring chef or just somebody that has a passion for cooking because you know you don't have to be a trained chef we want everybody to know that this is something that you know we're going to provide the tools we're going to provide the support and the background and you need to come armed with the love and the passion and the understanding of what this is all about but, yeah you know well brick and mortars can they start at 250 grand mm -hmm. i mean you're getting into a tiny little spot with minimal build out at 250 grand and up to half a million dollars to start a business and see if it works and if it doesn't you're sol with a food truck, it's it's a lot less expensive to try. So you don't have to invest a ton, a ton of capital. You give it a shot, see if there's any traction, see if the community likes it, see if you like it. And, you know, if it doesn't work, y you didn't lose your life savings. Right. So that's really the benefit of food trucks. Okay, Josh, and in, in your business, what you do, it, do you help people, uh, I'm going to call it preload or front end load to get out there and kind of do a little research? To see if if someone if someone calls us and says, okay, we want a we want an FHC truck um, up in Ventura, mm -hmm. a, a couple of firefighters want to get together. What's what's the preloading that we can do for them? First thing I would do is say, come. To, well, there was pictures of our lot earlier on there. We have, yes. I would say come down to the lot. Hop on a truck. Why don't you mention that really quick? Because I don't think we've covered the lot you have in Los Angeles. It's very impressive. I mean, do you want to? Do you guys want to um, cover that? Yeah, that's uh, there. It is right there. If you're looking at um, at the screen right now online at firehousechefs.com or rentradionetwork.com. Yeah, that's uh, and that's just one aisle. There's there's other aisles. Yeah, there's it's a gigantic. Lot. It's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, those are the the gourmets are on one side, kind of the colored trucks, and then on the left side is all white trucks. That's the traditional uh, route trucks. Um, but again, we'd say come down, you know, get on a truck. We, we'll put you on on one of our routes. See what it's like. See what it's like to hop on a truck and drive around and deal with traffic, and then you know try and serve fifty people within ten minutes. Th that's route business. But on the gourmet side, there's a that's a that's a grilled cheese truck at the grilled cheese invitational and that line that's the line for the truck yeah. um yep so it's again we bring them down put them on a truck and have them 
go out for a few hours, a few days, um, and see what it's like. And Kay. that would be the first step. Okay. There we go. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that's and that's huge. And, and again, um, more what you're going to do too is is speaking for uh, from the standpoint of the firehouse chefs franchise opportunity is the fact that you you truly are um, going to become part of a team that has decades of fire service fire service experience culinary experience and now you know with us teaming forces with road stoves is the food truck experience which is tremendous so um yeah we're, we're very very uh, pleased and, and proud uh, about that and uh as far as and what you've know, you've seen a lot of trucks come and go and and the ones that are here to stay and the ones that have that franchise ability what seems to be the thing that that keeps those going or or enables them to actually grow um well it's the franchise ability and just running a food truck are, are different uh like with firehouse chefs, I, I, we've talked about this. I see the franchisability because it has brand equity, it has community love, it has a story, it has a. And honestly, I haven't tried the food yet, but I'll, I'll take your word for it. That that's going to change. <laughs> yeah, I want it to change. Um, so that's a, that's a franchisable business. But you know what's funny, and, and you bring up, but you're already focused on all the positive things and and then the the fact that we happen to have good food on top of it is just literally the <laughs> cherry on top. Great gravy. But yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And um, that's cool. But so that's with Firehouse Chef. With and Chef Don, you alluded to this earlier um at the end of the day a successful truck is the operators. Do they have the passion? Do they have it's 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 hard like being a fireman. It's different but yes. it's, some people have it sure. and they'll get in there and they'll work and they'll work hard and they'll run into places where other people would run out. It's different as a cook, obviously, but you have to have some passion. You have to have a work ethic. You have to be willing yes. to get up on that truck every day yeah. and, and bust your butt. Chef Eddie and I find it's it's both being longtime firefighters and chefs, we got a love and a passion for both. And, and failures of chefs and failures in the fire department – the love and the passion isn't there. And if it's not there, it's not going to work. And truly, I couldn't think of a better group of people to, to, there's probably more firefighters that have that hard work ethic and love that, that more a higher percent will succeed in this kind of industry. Right. Right. No, I, I agree. And, and a lot of the things that, that we have found, you can literally, you can kind of, the, the integration is there, you know, so a lot of the things that you learn uh, in the fire service as far as leadership and teamwork and uh, and those sort of things, you literally can transfer that into the food truck industry uh, or, or running running your franchise. So it, it's there. It, it's all there. It's, it's very, very exciting. And as uh, Firehouse Chefs as a company continues to grow, as our fan base continues to grow, our community it's it's all a great time. If I could, sure. Eddie, if any people that are listening, it, we would love feedback on this idea. If you're, if we talked to someone from Wisconsin, from any yes. other cities, towns, states, let us know your thoughts about what you think about franchise of firehouse, you know, chefs in your city, whether it's firefighters, would you run a truck? What would you do? Community people, or would you want this in your area? So email Eddie or, or however we can link up and we'd love yep. some feedback on it. You know, that's an excellent point. And then uh, not only that, but um, if there are any um, potential vendors or people that want to partner up with Firehouse Chefs uh, to do some different things, I, I know we've kind of discussed it'd be great, obviously, to have uh, an official uh, food truck uh, manufacturer, if you will, or something like that, especially uh, perhaps there's a fire apparatus manufacturer out there or somebody that sees a lot of the uh, what's going on here with Firehouse Chefs, and so not only through FHC Radio, but the upcoming uh, monthly contribution to Firehouse Magazine and some of these other things that are going to yield millions of viewers to Firehouse Chefs. And that's a great point. We will definitely please reach out to us on our social media. You can definitely contact us via our website. And uh, again, uh, firehousechefs at yahoo.com is another way. Yeah, and we're we're rolling up here, Chef, on our final 30 seconds. Uh, just one more for all our listeners out there. If you're interested in a in a franchise, give us a shout. But I would strongly encourage you come taste our food. 
We are firefighters who know how to cook. We're producing some awesome, awesome. There's some pictures up there of some of our food. Uh, Chef Eddie has developed some excellent recipes. Stop by the truck, try our food, and give that uh, franchise a thought. Chef? Make sure you catch us next week and every Wednesday on the Rant Radio Network, 8 to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for FHC Radio. Make sure you look for uh, our upload to YouTube tomorrow. And, again, we really appreciate Josh. Thank you, Josh. Thanks for having me. And, again, uh, hang tight, folks. You're in for um, a lot of great guests on FHC Radio. Every Wednesday, 8 to 9 p.m. Pacific time by visiting firehousechefs.com and rantradionetwork.com. Welcome to Firehouse Chefs. I'm your host, Eddie Sell, and I will take you on a journey with America's chefs, firefighters, service industry professionals, and more as we discuss food, recipes, nutrition, and lifestyle topics. Stay tuned and enjoy the ride.